Okay, I guess it's time to do this. Yeah, it's time. A lot of people have been wondering if we're quitting YouTube. And honestly, I haven't really known what to say. The truth is, we're quitting YouTube. No, bro, if this is real, bro. If Kibiana Kamran's his channel, bro, I'm gonna literally kill myself, bro. I can't take this shit anymore, bro. Please, please, please. We're quitting YouTube. And this is our last upload. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys have just been tricked once again by Pickle Boy's clickbait mentality where he just treats his audience like they are worth nothing but a piece of shit on the bottom of the fucking earth, dude. This guy. Today I want to give you nothing but the biggest content nuke you have ever seen made on Kid Behind a Camera, dude. This is a video I've been working on for quite some time, so sit back, grab your popcorn, grab your fucking meth, and let's watch this together dude now every video that he's made recently has been either the most misleading title ever or fake over exaggerated or just complete and utter clickbait in the worst form i have ever seen any youtuber ever do it for no reason the first video we're going to be going over is this one that i seen yeah that made me just absolutely sick to my stomach that he would do this yeah insinuating that his mother was about to pass away. He's done two videos on this, it's called It's Almost Over. Now I'm gonna show you what this video is actually about, okay? Go to the hospital and talk. How bad was it? Where uh, my lips were blue. Were you actively dying? I could've, but uh... So you're going to the hospital dying. Jennifer is battling cancer and starting chemotherapy soon. Like... I feel like I'm 90. What's going on, dude? I, I don't like this. I just don't have a lot of energy. No energy. Nothing. Now, I understand that his mom may be going through a little bit of health issues in her personal life, but what pisses me off the most about this is that Michael has made an entire video about it just for his own personal gain. I bet you before his mom even spoke a word about her illness, Michael was just pulling out the camera, trying to get it all adjusted, get the right camera angles. Yeah, mom, get sit, sit on front of the hood so we can get, you know, the best camera angle for our viewers. Now, I'm not going to play you the whole video because we've got a lot of stuff to get through in this video, yeah? But just know that his mom isn't passing away and he was just doing this so you would click on the video. For all the people that care about Michael's mom or care about his personal life or used to, like me, he was just doing it to trick all of you and get that little 0.01 cents off your view of watching that full 15 minutes to find out what the thumbnail and the title was really about. Now this one, I think that he is dead. Now you will see by the title and the thumbnail, you would probably think if you'd never, <laughs> you know, known that he is a clickbaiting mother effer, that he had actually nearly killed someone or somebody died in his house, yeah? But here's what really happened. It's like one o'clock, man, you still asleep? I know you can hear this, dude. You hear anything in there? All right, buddy, I'm gonna do a wellness check on you, okay? I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> hey, buddy, you okay in there? You alive? Graham, Dana. Just make a noise and I won't have to call the police. We're gonna call the cops on you. I'm calling the cops if you don't open the door! Okay, what do we do? I don't know. Well, I guess I'm gonna call the cops and get Grim's toy show thrown out of my house! Okay. Wake up! This guy, man, he's so deceptive. Like, this is so fake, man. All that happens is that he comes out after saying, I was taking a shit, Michael. God damn. I guarantee Michael just said, Grim. I need a video title. Stay in the toilet for as long as you can while I bang on the door, dude. So you, so I can make my viewers think that you died inside my own goddamn house, dude, Grim, please. What? You just miss your friend? No, but we got plans, dude. We're going to Hoss Chop House. 
Is your body decomposing in there? What's up, dude? Oh my we'll God. never be able to sell this house if you die. Dude. Breaking? Oh my god. Maybe that's what it needs to do. There he is right there. Never mind. Hello. Hey. I'll do this in a wellness check to check on Grim. Oh. Are you I good? Was in the bathroom, like, Dude, I was banging on the door and like asking where you were. Honestly, I find it kind of sad that it's the little things like this that make Michael's life seem the littlest bit interesting. He physically, for the life of him, cannot find anything interesting, but shit like this that literally has no meaning towards it other than just to lie and make everything seem like something it isn't so that you can get some money at the end of the fucking day, dude. Now this one, goodbye Jacob, I'm not gonna lie, when I seen this, and he gets me every fucking time, and this is how he's wrapping you round his little, well not his little, his fat huge sausage fucking German sausage fingers, yeah? He makes it look like he's dying, yeah? So that you click on the video, a viewer that used to watch his channel from ages ago, thinking, oh my goodness, Jacob, has he died or something? And then you click on the video to be greeted with a happy as fuck vlog for about 20 goddamn minutes and then it finally shows a little snippet of this and this is how he gets you hooked. This is how he gets over 100k views per video is because he's doing this and he's smart with it, he's not stupid with it, but he knows what he's doing. You know, you have to be good at with uh, sociology or psychology to do these kind of things and Michael has had years of experience with this. So he knows what he's doing. Everyone thought that Jacob was dying or Jacob died because of the fogging of the, the thumbnail and all that and the sad face and, and everything like that. It just genuinely makes you feel like Jacob's died when nothing of the sort happened. Here's a quick clip for the video. Camera here. Which it was here. And right off the bat, the title, it's not clickbait. Jacob is gone. Jacob, I love you. It sucks. It does suck. The vlog you're about to see was about a week ago when Jacob had to leave to go to military school. Six months? Six? Five and a half. Five Jenny, and is half. anybody talking to you? We're doing this. <laughs> I've honestly got... I, I had enough of her, I'll be honest. Seriously, there's too much gin in one day. <laughs> oh my That's probably why he's leaving. He hates his mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just tired of the family, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that includes me! What did Michael do? But yeah, as you can see, it's uh, not really as sad as it lets on. Uh, you know, of course, Jacob's going, but the video should be titled Jacob is leaving or something, not goodbye, Jacob, with the fogging around the lens with a picture. Because the fogging around the lens, I know it doesn't seem like that much of a big thing, yeah. But to me, that, or to, and to a lot of other people, that this is usually used if somebody's died. I'm pretty sure that was used when uh, AGP died, you know, it's used in the We Love You Mom video, all that kind of stuff. And it's used for like really sad stuff, like if someone's passed away, but he just uses it so that you think that this guy has died so that you will watch the video for like 10 minutes or so. And then so he can get his, his ad revenue for the, for the month. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of sick, to be honest. There's so many videos like this and it's so annoying. Next, we have My Brother Won't Leave. Now, if you know who Michael's brother really is, you would know why this video is a bunch of shit. Because him and his brother had a... It's called the LSD incident, where Charlie Chill, kid behind the camera's brother, had this big, big freak out moment where he punched Bridget in the face, he um, made a fool of himself, he was on drugs, and he was just being an absolute nuisance to the whole family. And they have had quite a, a hostility to, against each other, I guess, if that's even a word. <laughs> um, and Michael, the, the, he changed the thumbnail. Now, it's him and Grim now, but it was him with Charlie behind him when he originally uploaded the video. Now, I did see this video and I was like, what the fuck, man? And it wasn't Charlie at all. In fact, it was Grim and he would leave the house. And this was complete and utter clickbait once again. I will show you a little clip yet again. Guys, it is like really late. Somebody is outside my house.
I'm about to call the cops because you do not show up to people's house like this. What are they doing? What is this? Go, go, back up, back up. What? What's up? What's up? What are you doing? I made it. Baby, come on. Thank you for having us. What? On, Thanks for having you. You can't just show up at my house at three o'clock in the morning. Where's Bridget? Okay, our bedroom's down here and that doesn't matter. You're not seeing her. She's asleep. All right, I'll see you in the morning. What? I told you, I texted you, we were on- So, yeah, as you can see, it was definitely not Charlie, and a lot of viewers were sad to see this. I mean, if you look at these comments here, saying you don't talk about your brother anymore while using him in the thumbnail. Crazy face. The channel's at its best when you just show your daily life, and it's worse when you create storylines, at least since AGP. Now, I totally agree with this comment, yeah? There is so many other comments like this, I'll show you. This clickbait needs to stop. I love you guys, but this is ridiculous. And I feel that exact same way too. And one thing Michael and Bridget really need to remember is that your audience are not stupid. They're not going to forget about the clickbait that you just put into their fucking day. Yeah, you would still pull just as much views if you titled this video, for example, say, hanging out with Grimm or doing anything but uh, my brother won't leave you know it's it's kind of ridiculous he, he seems to think that his fans aren't gonna take this you know too seriously when really they are and the reason that they changed that thumbnail is because the f all the fans that were commenting you know that's the only reason he wanted everyone to just brush it off but i'm here to fucking let you guys know we can't brush this shit off bro we cannot brush this shit off what we're going to do as a fan base or as an ex fan base or as people that used to be subscribed to him and people that still get recommended his videos, what we need to do is we need to click on the video, watch the first part and then skip to the bit where the title is actually about. And if it is clickbait, dislike the video and go off of it. Therefore, he will not get the watch time hours. He will not get any of that. He's just going to be left with like 40 second viewers. That's one thing we can all do as an audience, and I feel like we need to put a stop to this. That's the reason I'm making this video, because so no, no other YouTuber is really addressing the clickbait nature, but I see that it's really impacting his fans in a negative way. And that's the reason I'm making this video. I'm making this video for you guys, yeah? For me as well, that used to love this guy, yeah? We need to get this man off of the 100k view strike and if i if i make this video and it helps out like with one percent of that i'm fucking happy bro i'm happy i'm doing this for you guys and me so let's work together to get this guy off the platform dude honestly i mean how could we forget how good this channel once actually was i mean it's so sad to see such a great channel go away. Like I said in my using death for views video, yeah, you guys loved that fucking video. So that's why I'm making this video because I know there's a lot of you guys out there that feel the same way and it sucks to see this happen. Like I've said, bro, Pickle Boy, you're a very good conversationalist. You can, you're funny, you're outspoken, you, you do all these things and I don't hate you. I, I actually love your videos, and I used to love your videos so much. That's the reason I'm making this video, yeah, in hopes that he might even see it, yeah, to let him know, bro, you have so much more potential than this crap. You have a lot of people that love you and care about you, <laughs> and your fucking clickbait mentality just isn't doing you any justice, you know, and it sucks that it has to be this way. But like I say, you could do a podcast, you could... 
you could do reviews, you could do reaction videos, and people would watch them. Yeah, you could do so much other than clickbait and manipul manipulate your fans. And I think that's why everyone gets so annoyed about it, because, you know, you've got a lot of potential, Pickle Boy, and it's just sad to see it go down the drain. Now, obviously, these aren't all of the videos. There's hundreds and hundreds more of these clickbait videos and just faked or over-exaggerated. And yeah, these aren't the only videos that I've covered. It, it, it's actually kind of unbelievable. And I'm sure a lot of you guys definitely know about it and it sucks, but it's what can we really do about it? But this, what we're doing, yeah? We need to spread the message because this is getting ridiculous also if you guys could subscribe to the fucking channel dude i know i said this was going to be the biggest fucking video about kid behind a camera there is and it probably isn't um but you've got to realize i'm recording this on the worst android ever dude so it took me so long to make it took me so long to screen record it took me over a day to upload i'm guessing because my internet's a piece of garbage um and yeah, it's just been so hard to make videos, but I'm going to definitely make as much good videos as I can. It's just at the moment, I'm kind of stuck with supplies and stuff for making YouTube videos. Um, so also, if you guys could definitely subscribe, we're about to hit 1K subs and I am so excited, dude. I'm hoping to have 1K subs by the end of 2024, <laughs> if that is a possibility i definitely think it is but it's only you guys that can make it possible so if you could please like this video get it or spread to more of these kid behind a camera x fans and i'm sure we will get somewhere yeah i'm hoping for this video to get some amount of views or some attention or whatever yeah so if you watch to the end of the video comment zebra like i always say guys in the next one is going to be a better video than this one. <laughs> um, if you guys did enjoy, please do like, sub, comment, all that good, amazing stuff, yeah. And I love it, each and every single one of you in a bit. Ta-da.